Meacham, uh, I want to go back to the soul of America. And we're going to be talking about it more throughout this show, but also uh, in the coming weeks and months. Y you, you have that great quote uh, from FDR's headmaster at Groton that FDR used uh, in his inaugural address in 45, talk a couple of months before he died, talking about how the arc of civilization was forever upward. You, you quote liberally from Thomas Jefferson, a slaveholder, Andrew Jackson, a slaveholder, and, and you, you, you talk about how the trend is upward, that Je it was Jefferson's words that became American creed, quoted by Lincoln at Gettysburg to free the slaves, quoted by MLK and so many others to end segregation. Um, it was Jefferson's words that eventually led to the election of America's first black president. But you also say this of, of, of Andrew Jackson. To him, the nation was a sacred thing, hallowed by his family's blood, for he had lost his mother and brothers in the Revolutionary War. A self-made man had risen to the highest levels of slaveholding society, and yet he wanted to open the doors of opportunity uh, for men like him. And you talk about how Jackson is obviously um, uh, uh, not highly admired these days, but it again, it again, it's always a move forward uh, through throughout the ages. Yeah, the the key question in my mind is: Are you devoted to as a citizen, as a leader, as both? Are you devoted to the experiment of a journey toward a more perfect union? Not a perfect union, because the world is not perfectible. But can we move ahead? And when you think about the American Revolution, which is in and of itself the greatest act of faith uh, you, can, you can possibly imagine, we're still fighting that revolution every day because it's, it's a counterintuitive idea that human beings driven by appetite and ambition and passion can govern themselves in a civilized way, living under the rule of law and recognizing the dignity of every other person. It's a remarkable achievement. And it's one that, you know, w women have not voted quite for quite a century yet. Uh, in, my, in our native region in the South, we had functional apartheid until 50 years ago. Uh, we're not quite three years into the marriage equality decision. Mm. It's not, it, it's a bloody, tragic, difficult history. But what is our immigration issue in this country? People want to come here, and we have to protect that. Yeah. Much